guys welcome this is a general reading for the collective of sagittarius sun moon rising venus welcome cross watchers those of you who are brand new to the channel happy to have you join us do come into the comments and say hi um i promise i'll get to it and reply so i'm pulling here from a brand new deck um, just to activate the reading by colette baron reed it is guides of the hidden realms newly released uh, born out of an art class she took, um, she did some paintings and some interesting beings, creatures came through, and she um, reflected their messages and then uh, with Hay House turned it into an oracle deck. So let's see what guide comes through for you. I like this one for you, Sag, card 35. This and that are true. Open-mindedness, perspective, nuance, and complexity. This and that are true. So I'm going to read it for you right out of the guidebook. Card 35, I said. So it says... Within you are all manner of contradictions. You are not just one thing. You are both and. Lit up, hidden in shadow. Happy, grieving. Free, confined. Elated, dejected. Effervescent, dull. And so on. The world is similarly full of complexity with so many opposing perspectives that it appears no one agrees on an objective reality at all. It's essential to remain open-minded and receptive to learning before dismissing others as foolish or worse, dangerous. If you allow yourself to listen deeply without judgment, you will understand that many opposing ideas and opinions can coexist simultaneously and be correct and true from the standpoint of the experiencer. This situation is not a time for choosing sides, but for respectful cooperation. Can you reach across the chasm and find a mutually beneficial solution? Even conflicting creative concepts can be made into something innovative and special. Be a builder of bridges rather than barriers. Open-minded collaboration, exploration, and experimentation are called for here. Right? So it's, it's about the unity, the common ground in your connection, since that's what we're here to read about. Um, right? Their perspective is true from their point of view. Your perspective is true from your point of view. And somewhere in the middle uh, lies the potential um, to reconcile those differences or to hold space for those differences and see them as part of the creation of the whole that makes your connection beautiful and unique in and of itself. Complexity is your friend here. All right, my love. So I'm going to pull the spread, doing a split soulmate spread. Whichever side of the spread speaks to you, that's fine. It can come through reversed is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I'll walk you through it, and then I'll go through um, with the clarifiers to get the details. So I love that we have the Queen of Cups here. This is talking about open-heartedness. Over here in your um, oracle, there is like an open-mindedness, which feels more queen of swords. But it has to start from that place in your heart where you hold space. Beautiful energy. She is associated with the sign of cancer, and we are presently in cancer season. So that seems very auspicious. Um, two of cups for your person, the star, seven of wands. Oh, for you here, Tower, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Right. Okay. So I'm going to start on this side. Your person, um, present energy is all about the connection. So it's definitely something that where they're almost, you know, holding you in their mind's eye, the emotional connection, the partnership. The blocker challenge, though, is they may be losing hope. And um, the opportunity in the future 
is for them to kind of take a stand for what they want, not to be namby-pamby about something, right? If, if I want this connection, I have to take a stand for it um, and not let something that I have hopes and dreams around fall through the cracks. For you, there's something that's very destabilizing at present. Um, I'm not necessarily sure it's a jarring tower moment, but whatever it is, it is destabilizing you because your blocker challenge is the queen of pentacles, which means you're not feeling like you're on solid ground in some way, shape or form. And yet your opportunity is to move past the turbulence, to move past something that feels very jarring, very unstable, very unsustainable to that calmer water, to the um, peace of mind that you seek. So you see, when I do this spread, it kind of comes through with very different messages. Um, and then what I like to do is go into the extended to get, you know, to get your person's, the deeper, more subtle nuances to their inner workings. I'll say it that way. Do keep in mind this is a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. If you're interested in private readings, there's always a link below every video that will take you. You have to scroll a little bit. It will take you to um, the booking page where you can read all about that. Let's jump in, Queen of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not feeling the open heart. <laughs> I'm feeling your heart chakra is blocked. Could be both of you, but there's definitely been something here for you, Saj, or whoever you are watching, right? You could completely identify with this side. Very, um, very turbulent, very abrupt. Feels like you might not have seen it coming, but it's like resonating. It's still reverberating is the word I wanted to use because you're seeing it as an unfair fight and as a way at, like where you're defeated in this situation. And so the heart chakra is closed off. This is a shutting down, um, a lot of guardedness. And I do feel this is your energy um, because the whole situation has destabilized you, but it starts at the level of heart. Oh my goodness. Okay, two of cups. Can't make it up. Um, <laughs> my loyal Saggies know that the King of Swords likes to make his appearance and there you go past life soulmates partners twin flame dynamics possibly this person has not given up um pushing through persevering but somewhat exhausted so when i look at that king of swords i kind of think that's part of like they're strategizing their way forward their way out of a situation that has very clearly come between you or torn you apart. Um, whoever this is though, there's honor, at least the way I see it here, there's honor, um, integrity, right? But their blocker challenge is the star. Yes, five of pentacles, queen of swords to the king. Um, this person has lost hope, feeling um, probably very cut, cut out, um, rejected, a door closed, unable to really kind of access a dialogue with you. So that's part of the challenge. Right, you may be that queen of swords who, um, in a moment where things got really dicey, just kind of said, that's it, I'm done, you're out, I'm done, I'm out, let's go, no more. Um, because it does seem like this person has met their match. 
And while they haven't given up on the connection, they may be losing hope for any kind of um, communication. Let's see the Seven of Wands in their opportunity. So the opportunity for this person, it's almost like spirit coming in and saying, if you want them, don't, don't let them go off the grid. Go claim your happiness. Take a stand, right? Take the action. Show some passion. Go get what you want. Don't let this person kind of sail away and, 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 and go on. That's all I can think about is sort of you retreating because of these wounds to your heart. You shutting down, getting very guarded. Something went wrong here. No doubt about it. But this person hasn't given up, although they're losing hope. Because you may be coming through more as the Ice Queen. Since you've been feeling destabilized and now you feel the need to protect your heart. Um, and so the opportunity for this person is to kind of come seek you out. Come get you out of hiding. So let's see the tower. Wow. Wow. I feel, I feel something was said on impulse and it brought about a real painful ending. It was either said or done, but the knight, knights make offers and the knight of swords offer is usually one of clarity or of truth. So it's more a, a verbal offer. Um, page of wands can be impulsive. And so I feel like um, could have been you, could have been them, but it doesn't matter, could have been something that um, needed to be said, but the reality of it was that it would bring everything uh, to either a crashing halt or tumbling down. There's so much finality here between the Ten of Swords, the Tower, and the Death card. A lot of finality. And then all your guards go up. So your blocker challenge is Queen of Pentacles. not just about your stability it's sort of about um an offer here in 3d um should this you've got fears obviously some apprehensions some insecurities may be triggered here internally because you can't sort of see what's behind the veil so there when there's something you can't see when there's something you don't um ha have the ability to sort of I mean, the this and that are true is a perfect card here because it feels to me like you may be anticipating the worst and therefore, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> right? Well, this, this side, then that side, then that side, then this side. It, it feels a little bit like a juggling act and it's happening in real time. And what I'm seeing here is potentially, and I, I base this on some of the past readings for you, Sag, is that this person is moving at a very slow pace. And though I'm seeing them with a plan, like, a, like being strategic, I'm also seeing them as honorable and not wanting to come toward you uh, unless or until they're ready, A, and have something to offer. And what I see happening to you is you finding that destabilizing and 
feeling really torn about it because there may be uh, you may not tr you may not trust right if this person wanted me they'd come get me um right there's this energy of if, if you if, if you can't come and claim this now then that's it we're done i'm out That's sort of how it's coming through. And so I get the impression that that finality may be what inspires this person to act when the opportunity presents itself, to seek you out, to make that choice, to choose the happiness, to choose the connection, Because right now they seem sort of like they got a plan, but nothing's changing, nothing's moving. And so I'm feeling your frustration here, like you're getting the real crap end of the stick, pardon my French. And it's hard to keep an open heart and to be open and to be, you know, receptive and all that. And you, we start to shut down because we're kind of like, yeah, I'm not going to take 10 swords to the back. Thank you very much. Not going to do it. And that is experienced as something very final. So let's see your opportunity with the Six of Swords. So your opportunity will be to sort of take, put one foot in front of the other. Um, you will be given an opportunity to move beyond all this turbulence, turmoil, unsettled energy, destabilized energy. You will have an opportunity to move beyond it and you're gonna have to reckon with your own inner demons, right? With your own anxieties, your own worries, um, your preoccupations. And I'm saying that like to the negative, right? Sometimes when we perseverate, when we get stuck on a thought, we it kind of then controls us. Not good, not high vibe, not healthy. And so it feels to me like you'll have to, the two sixes here are perfect because the path forward and out of the mess is to take it one baby step at a time and to come from an inner resolve of re, you know, a reciprocity, generosity. I'm going to commit to this. I'm going to invest in this, even if I'm worried. Even if I'm scared, even if I don't necessarily trust, um, right? So I feel like the path out of wh what you're feeling now uh, will likely come when this person seeks you out and says, let's do this. And then you have to reconcile with your own anxiety and worries one little baby step at a time it will be a learning experience for sure um, and something that will bring about a good deal of growth for the connection um, that's how it's coming through to me because i feel this in per this person's intentions are honorable and that's the most important thing you may not feel that way right now that's fine because this and that are true. It can be true that this person is honorable and doesn't have intent to hurt, and it can be true that you feel hurt and devastated and therefore guarded. They can both be true. So what I'm gonna do now is, before I give you the astrology, let you know that I'm gonna go on to the extended, looking at our little um, King of Swords here, and we're really going to just take a deeper dive into every all the inner workings for them and how they see you or think about you and their intentions and all of that. So that's what we're going to do. Gives you a deeper dive from their perspective, which can be helpful for some of you who are like, what is going on with them? Um, uh, but I do want to mention for those of you who are subscribers thank you so much for those of you who are regular watchers and come into the comments thank you so much 
If you've heard my little spiel already, you can skip this part. The links to the extended are below. There's one that's a one time just for this extended. And then there's the Sagittarius monthly, which is a monthly membership that you get access to four different collections. So click it, read about it. It's a really good deal. Um, but there have been some changes in the algorithm. I'm sure that I'm not the first person you're hearing this from. Um, and it's tending to impact those of us who are not brand new, but also aren't huge. Like I don't have a hundred thousand plus subscribers. I got 61 or 2000, um, but I'm also not brand new. Um, and my channel, you know, the growth is incremental. It's kind of small, you know, I'm doing this one subscriber at a time. And since they've changed the algorithm now to favor new, new channels, which I understand I was once new and I don't begrudge newbies an opportunity to get their videos in front of a lot of viewers. So they're recommending new channels and shorts, right? To compete with TikTok and um, Instagram Reels. The emphasis is definitely on shorts, which I'm just using shorts as little snippets of my long form videos. So I don't live in the realm of shorts. I'm, I don't wanna be a tarot influencer, et cetera. So that's not my jam really, although I do them and I'm not new. So there has been an increasingly dramatic drop in viewership in the last month and a half to two months. Um, subscribers have like it's almost reversed now uh, it's like i'm hemorrhaging subscribers because people get booted off the platform people just opt out there's lots of scam um not scam how shall i say this fake accounts and bots that that youtube goes in and strips out of all of our um accounts so once upon a time i was continuing to grow steadily and now um, it almost feels as if I can't stay here on the platform. This is all I do to support myself. This is it. This is my calling. This is my work. You are my people. I come in here. And so if people aren't seeing my videos and I cannot grow my viewership and my subscriber base, um, it's kind of like I'm being invited to leave. I don't want to leave. I don't they meant, you know, most of you probably don't want me to go. So I am asking if you haven't already, even if you're new, do subscribe, please subscribe. Um, you can hit that little notification bell and that will, you know, I'll, I'll pop up in your feed when I launch a new video. Um, and yeah, maybe go watch some videos that you haven't seen yet. You can go straight to my channel page click on the playlists tab, scroll to the Sagittarius collection and just look through, see what you haven't seen, look at a title if it gets your, you know, tickles your funny bone. Just anything you can do to watch, um, like, share, come in the comments. One subscriber said she was um, doing emoji bombs, so she just went through a crap ton of my old videos and just opened it up went to the comments, threw in a bunch of emojis, and it really has made a difference. So I know that if you support me, then I can continue supporting you here on the channel. And that is what I am at humbly, very humiliating, but humbly asking for your support with. So thank you for letting me um, share the dilemma so that you, I don't just disappear one day and you say, well, why don't you say something? I'm saying something. Okay, so here we go, my friends. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. King of Swords, Aquarian energy. The star is also Aquarian energy. Queen of Swords, Libra. Uh, Virgo in the Hermit, the sun is the sun. We have, uh, which rules Leo, by the way? Um, the Lover's card is Gemini. Tower is Mars, which rules Aries. Um, Knight of Swords is more Gemini, Scorpio in the Death card, Aries, Leo, Sag in our Page of Wands. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn, the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo, and the Moon 
is Pisces. And then we have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That is what I have for you, Sag. Really interesting reading. I'm headed to the extended now. We're going to look at this King of Swords. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.